I've been making videos on YouTube with advice about how to build computers for a very long time now, and I'll admit that things can be a little confusing at times. The advice can often be, don't build a computer right now, or build a computer right now, hurry. Or sometimes it's like, hey, you could build a computer right now, but it's complicated. So today I'm very happy that I can deliver you guys a straightforward message. It is a very good time to build a computer right now, and even ignore all that stuff you've been hearing about crazy, ridiculously overpriced graphics cards. I have three really nice gaming PC builds to share with you today, and all of them cost less than this graphics card. Excellent! Today's video is brought to you by the new Height Eclipse HG10 wireless gaming headset, combining a clean matte lunar gray color scheme with competition grade functionality, including 2.4 gigahertz wireless connectivity with 30 hour estimated battery life, high fidelity 40 millimeter neodymium drivers, a detachable unidirectional mic, USB type C connectivity with an included 1.8 meter cable to play and charge at the same time, and conveniently accessible controls for power, volume, and mute. For more on the Height Eclipse HG10 headset, click the sponsor link in the video description. So just to clarify what this video is all about, I have three builds parts lists to go over. There will also be a Google Docs spreadsheet linked in the video description that I will be updating over the course of the next few days. I'll be doing a follow-up to this on Black Friday. So if you wanna stay up to date with the deals that I think are the best during this holiday sale cycle, then definitely uh, check back on that spreadsheet as I will be updating it. Full disclosure, the links in the spreadsheet and the links in the video description are affiliate links, so they will earn me a small commission, but it won't affect the price of the things that you might be buying. And also also, a quick and shameless plug that I'll be kicking off a sale on my store to paulshardware.net, where you can buy shirts, mugs, pint glasses, and lots of high quality merchandise to help support my channel, including these new water bottles, which are super awesome. They're made by Arctic, and these new 8 bit designs like uh, this shirt that I'm wearing today. Before I get to those parts lists, a couple things to note. One is that there are Ryzen 7000 price cuts right now. Ryzen 7000 launched just back in September. There were lots of complaints initially that the prices were a little bit too high on the new CPUs, but they are all on sale right now at pretty stinking good prices. But AMD has clarified these are not permanent price cuts, these will be going away. So if you're interested in Ryzen 7000 and you're not waiting for the X3D models that might be coming out in early 2023, then you should probably jump on these sales now. One other thing to note, Micro Center is awesome. Awesome. And no, I'm not being paid at all to say that. They are not a sponsor of this video, but they have really good deals on CPUs, motherboards, CPU, motherboard, memory combos like this deal right now for a 7600X and a 16 gig memory kit for 250 bucks. Note that this CPU by itself was 300 bucks as of like a week ago. So I won't be going over Micro Center deals because not everyone has access to those, but definitely check it out if you have that available. Also, I'm not building any systems today, but I'll post links in the description to my playlist with how to build a PC tutorials step-by-step walkthroughs that will guide you through the process. And yes, there is a full playlist that includes not just building the PC, but also getting it set up and everything too. Two other recommendations, PC Part Picker, linked in the description, lets you build your own PC and choose from a selection of retailers to get the parts from. And also Camel, 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 where you can check price histories of things to see if that deal that you're seeing for Black Friday is really a good deal, or if they actually were selling that for that same price a few months ago, and they just raised the price so they could lower it again. Okay, here are my builds. They're on the spreadsheet, here's a quick overview of them. We have a budget AM4 gaming PC. The pros for this are that you can get it for less than $700, 650 actually, thanks to some recent price drops for things like the Ryzen 5 5600, which is now down to $118 over on Amazon. You can also take advantage of cheaper DDR4 memory. Uh, it's not gonna be quite as fast as the current gen CPUs that just launched in the past month or so. You're not gonna have PCIe Gen 5 or DDR5 support, and you're gonna have a somewhat limited upgrade path. You can upgrade this 5600 to something like a 5800X3D, which will give you near peak gaming performance for the CPUs that are currently on the market. Or there are higher core count options like the 5900X and 5950X if you start to get into stuff like video editing or anything that requires a lot of heavy lifting with the CPU. Note that I've sort of separated the main platform components here, the CPU motherboard and memory from the remaining components. And highlights for this build are a nice motherboard you can get for about 120 bucks, a RX 6600, which is now down below 200 dollars, although there is a very nice upgrade to a 6650 XT for 250. And please note that these items, the uh, storage, the case, the power supply, you can swap out for other components pretty easily if you want. And this would be a great thing to uh, check my deals tab down here, which I'll totally be populating very soon to see if there's any other viable alternatives for those components. Next, we have our Intel build, a very nice LGA 1700 gaming PC. And for LGA 1700, that platform supports 12th gen CPUs from 2021 or the 13th gen CPUs that just launched 
launched uh, within the past month. I have opted for the i5 13600K, which doesn't have a very significant discount. They were selling for 330 originally, they're down to about 300. And I will be filling out the rest of these. If you couldn't tell, I wanted to get this video shot as quickly as possible this morning. But we do need a cooler for this, so we have a $33 Zalman CNPS 10X. I went with a motherboard combo with a Z690 board and 32 gigs of DDR5 to keep the price down there a little bit too. And here we're sticking with the 6650 XT for about $250. And that's mainly to keep that price down. The total is $1,058. Of course, you could tack on an extra one, two or $300 and upgrade your uh, graphics card pretty easily to get yourself more performance out of the system. And the pros for this build are you're gonna get near peak gaming performance, or actually you could upgrade this to peak gaming performance if you upgraded your 13600K to like the 13900K. You do have DDR5 and PCIe Gen 5 support. However, the cons are that DDR5 memory is more expensive. You could go with DDR4 memory on the LGA 1700 platform but you have to make that decision when you buy your motherboard. So that's kind of locking you into DDR4. Whereas going with DDR5 memory will get you the best performance out of this platform. And again, we have a somewhat limited upgrade path because LGA 1700, even though it's only about a year old, is likely going end of life after 13th gen and will be replaced by a new platform from Intel. And our third build here is an actual AM5 build. And since AM5 launched, I have been very complimentary of its performance, but very critical of the price, both of the CPUs, the motherboards and DDR5 memory, but uh, the motherboards and memory can now be found for slightly lower prices than they were before. And again, we have this Ryzen 7000 series sale going on right now that has made the CPU prices much more reasonable. So again, here you're gonna get near peak gaming performance. Peak peak gaming performance is basically the 13900K right now, but we're really, really close with pretty much all of the 7000 CPUs. You'll get DDR5 and PCIe Gen 5 support. And here you should definitely have an upgrade path because AM5 just launched and AMD is promising to support it with new CPUs through 2025. They did a pretty good job with that with AM4. So, so you'll probably have better CPUs with new architecture launching for this platform in the next year or two or three. Of course, the cons are that it is currently the most expensive option to build on. DDR5 is more expensive, and of course, the motherboards are more expensive too. But even with that said, and even going with the 7700X, which is currently going for about 340, versus the 7600X, which can be found for about 100 bucks less, we're still coming in at less than $1,200, less than the price of an RTX 4080. And while, yes, a lot of people would probably want to upgrade from a 6650 XT with a build like this, it is nice that we can get our foot in the door with this new platform for very reasonable prices compared to just a week or two ago. All right, I'm gonna go over the parts one at a time, and here is a good example right off the bat of why I'm using this spreadsheet. 126, that was 118, like less than an hour ago. Brings the price on that build up to 656. But still, the Ryzen 5 5600, six core, 12 thread CPU. There is a 5500 that I don't recommend because it's fairly cut down in terms of performance, but uh, just 120 to $130 for this CPU. And the nice thing is it does come with a CPU cooler in the box, which will get you by just fine uh, to get you started. It's available on Newegg too for, I don't know, five or 10 bucks more. You get an AMD Uncharted game bundle along with that, which may or may not sway your decision. And here's a great example of why AM4 is still really nice. You can get solid motherboards for around $120. This is the B550 Gaming XV2. And there's a nice set of extras on this board, like a USB 3.2 Gen 2 front panel port down here, as well as a couple M.2 slots for NVMe storage. Of course, there are other B550 motherboards out there, so I put a couple more linked in the description. This one's about 20 bucks more for the MSI B550-A. Between the two of these, I would probably go with the Gigabyte. If I was sticking to a budget, this board looks a little bit nicer with an all black PCB, and it's got a little bit better power delivery. You will need memory, and here's another great deal on a 16 gig kit of memory for about $45. This is the Team T-Force Vulcan Z. I went with DDR4 3600 speed memory because with AM4, that's going to affect your Infinity Fabric speed. And 3600 speed RAM is the sweet spot. This doesn't exactly have the tightest timings at CL18, but it's hard to beat that price per gigabyte, and it's a great kit, which should blend in with the rest of your build pretty easily. There are two things in this build that I would want to upgrade. One would be the memory to a 32 gig kit, uh, so you can do that by spending only about uh, 30 or 40 dollars more about 85 dollars for this g-skill kit which is also 3600 speed and the second would be the graphics card yes the rx 6600 for less than 200 dollars it's down to 190 you do have to do a re rebate card for that uh, is a, a really good deal in terms of the amount of performance you get out of this card this blows all of nvidia's offerings at around 200 dollars out of the water. And in fact, that's the only slightly disappointing thing this week for Black Friday sales that I've seen so far is sort of a lack of deals on NVIDIA cards. Even the mid-tier 
tier and lower tier 30 series ones, but I wanted to see if the RX 6600 XT was an option, and those have actually fallen out of stock in a lot of places, so don't go for the 6600 XT, go for the 6650 XT, and you can find that same version from MSI, the mech two or whatever it's called for $250 after a mail-in rebate card. And I also have a Gigabyte Eagle uh, version of this linked in the description that is $260. All right, for our case, we have the Fractal Design Focus 2. And maybe I have spent too much time focusing <laughs> on this case, but I was recommending it at $70 and now it's down to $50. So this is one of the other reasons why it's a great time to build a PC right now. You have all these little extra Black Friday deals that save you maybe 10 bucks here, 20 bucks there, and leads to a much better overall price. And again, there are other cases that you might wanna go for. I'm gonna post more of those in the description and in the spreadsheet. But the Focus 2 is a great sort of basis for comparison. 50 bucks for a nice high airflow case, full-size ATX uh, with a tempered glass side panel and a couple 120 millimeter fans included. But again, uh, check the description if you'd like some recommendations for other potential cases. This SSD is a good deal. It's not like the highest quality SSD, but it's gonna get you good read and write speeds and you can get two terabytes for 130 or the one I actually recommended, the one terabyte version of this drive for uh, just under $70. There are, again, probably likely alternatives to this, so I'll post more SSD deals down in the description. They are flying really fast right now, so I'm gonna gather up as many of those as I possibly can. For a power supply, check your graphics card that you want or the graphics card that you eventually want and look at the recommended wattage for that. This is a 650 watt power supply for $55 that is, which is also partially modular and it's a, a solid unit from Corsair 80 plus bronze rated for efficiency, so again, Nice solid starting off point here, but if you want more wattage, you might need to upgrade to 750 or 850 watts even if you wanna go for one of the really high-end cards, one of the newer ones that's launching. This again was $65, now it's up to 70, so I'll post more power supplies in the video description. And then like I said, there are plenty of potential upgrades uh, for this build. You could go with the 5600X, which is gonna be a little bit faster in terms of clock speed right out of the gate for about 30 or $35 more. 5800X is down to $235, uh, which is, I mean, consider that this was 450 when it initially launched. The 5800X3D is also right up there with like the 7700X, 7950X, and 13900K in terms of peak gaming performance. So this one has been very tempting for people who are really focused on gaming and trying to build a system and get a lot for their money. Another reason why AM4 is still pretty viable and that's 360. But let's move on from our budget build around $650 to $700 to our next gen build or our latest gen build. And for Intel, that's LGA 1700. And the 13600K has been very well reviewed because it has excellent gaming performance. And it also outperforms the 7600X in terms of CPU compute performance because it is a 14 core 20 thread processor. That said, don't buy it from Amazon right now where it's 320. Get it uh, over at Newegg where it's 300. And I must reiterate again, these prices have been bouncing around a lot. The 13600K at 300, I can still recommend right now, but don't spend much more than that. You will need a CPU cooler for it. For that, I have the Zaman CNPS 10X, which you can find for $33, but a solid air cooler for about the $33 is a good way to go. I went with a combo for the motherboard and memory for this build. We have the Gigabyte Z690 Aorus Ultra, and we also have some Aorus memory, a 32 gig kit of DDR5 5200 speed memory. When you're looking at DDR5, you kind of have to go down to the 5200, 5400, range to get good deals right now. But with this combo deal, I'm figuring about $200 for the motherboard, which is a really good deal for this motherboard, and about $100 for this memory kit, which again, is a solid deal for the memory kit, but you would probably wanna upgrade to maybe 5,800 speed or 6,000 speed down the line if you wanted to get maximum performance out of your system. There are other Z690 motherboards out there that you could go with as well, like the MSI Pro Z690-A. Again, double check what memory standard uh, the board you're going with has. And also this board was like 190 bucks so the price has come up a little bit on it. And the Z690-A was down to 235, but it's back up to 260, so we'll ignore that one too. Here's a pretty solid deal on a DDR5 memory kit. It's DDR5 5600, so that gets us a little bit closer to that DDR5 6000 sweet spot that we're aiming for. 130 bucks for a 32 gig kit. Not spectacular when you're comparing it to DDR4 prices, but way better than DDR5 was a few months back. And then here's another like smashing deal on a graphics card, the RX 6650 XT uh, for $260 for this Gigabyte Eagle version, which has a triple fan cooler. It's gonna stay nice and quiet. And look, you even get up to two games, I guess, as well for this deal right now. And the rest of the parts are pretty boring. The same case, power supply and SSD that I recommended for the other build because they're good paying for the buck prices. But again, check the description, check the linked spreadsheet for uh, potentially more or other deals or alternative case and SSD options. And here's the, the 
piece de resistance, or however the heck you pronounce that. The 7000 series coming down in price uh, at a very good time. 350 bucks for the 7700X. And I feel like the 7700X was kind of one of the standouts from the 7000 series when, it's, when it launched. It gets you a decent step up in performance because it's eight core 16 thread versus the 7600X. And since that price has come down to 350, uh, I went with it versus the 7600X, but of course you could save 100 bucks on this build by going with the six core. Uh, and actually buy that on Newegg right now because it's down to 340, not 350 with this promo code. And that's an instant one, not a mail and rebate. For a cooler, just trying to find you guys some interesting and alternative uh, air cooling options. The Deepcool AK500 is very well reviewed and it's about a little over $50. Not an incredible markdown on this, but it's a solid air cooler that is AM5 compatible out of the box and it has a nice look to it as well. Here's one of the reasons AM5 builds are challenging right now. Motherboards are still quite expensive. So, so this is a B650 motherboard, but you can still do overclocking and you still have uh, DDR5 support and everything. And I wish this board was like 40 or 50 bucks cheaper. If this board was somewhere between 150 and 200 dollars, it would be really easy to recommend it. It's 220 right now. Again, not a fantastic deal, but if you want AM5, you need an AM5 motherboard, and this is one of the most reasonably priced ones right now. And then again, we have that same DDR5 memory kit, uh, 32 gigs for 130 bucks. We again have that same graphics card, the Eagle RX 6650 XT for 260. Although again, check the description if you want to upgrade your graphics card, because there are some really good ones. Actually, I'm going to show you in just a second. And then we of course have alternative CPUs for this build. The 7600X will save you about $100. Uh, it's about 240 bucks after this promo code around New right now. And you have uh, potential upgrades if you want more cores and threads. The 7900X is down to uh, 474 minus $15, about 460. And even the 7950X, which lists for $700, is down to about 555. So I'm really happy that AMD did some sales on these 7000 series CPUs. I just, I just wish these sales would stick around. And it's gonna be sad when they go back up. Like I said, though, I'll be updating the description with more deals uh, as I find them over the course of the next few days. And there are some really good deals with GPUs. Use AMD in particular, we have the RX 6700. Note this is the non XT, so this one actually didn't have a wide launch. It's a 10 gig card, but it will outperform the 6650 XT and it is uh, $300. Or you could just jump up to the RX 6800 XT. This is the Phantom Gaming D variant of that from ASRock, which is a, has an interesting look, but it's gonna perform really well, of course. $515 after rebate. Or even the 6900 XT. This card used to sell for well over $1,000 and it's down to 655. And it's again for the ASRock Phantom Gaming, but a 16 gig 6900 XT for that price is a great deal. And like I said, unfortunately, the, uh, the Nvidia deals not that great, not that spectacular, especially if you look at rasterization performance and you compare what you get for the money to AMD cards right now. That said, there are a few out there. So again, I'll post some links in the description and that spreadsheet. The 3060 Ti, the twin edge version from Zotac, MSRP minus $19 with this promo code. Not a great, not a great deal there. So those are my builds for Black Friday week 2022. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys make any purchases, many thanks for that as well. I hope I have helped you out in making your buying decision. And again, I'll be back on Friday with a Black Friday update. It's gonna focus more on deals in general versus the actual builds. Uh, to any of you guys who are in the United States, uh, happy Thanksgiving to you all, to any of you who celebrate. And if you're outside the US, uh, happy Thursday to you as well. Hope you guys get to eat some good food and spend some time with family. Closing reminders, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. It's always helpful to have those likes accumulate down there. You can also check out my store at paulshardware.net for lots of high quality merchandise, including all of the new products that have just recently come into stock. And of course, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel too. Thanks again for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next video.